when we're having a rally, I suppose to mark the anniversary of the Spring Hill West Ark Massacre, we in the campaign group have relaunched it. We unveiled a, a new plaque close to the site of four of the killings. Next week's the anniversary, so this is the, the closest day that we could do it. So we've done that and we encourage people to come along to the unveiling and then we had a rally. Now the purpose of it, to be perfectly honest, is to obviously highlight the campaign and to keep the momentum going after on the back, I suppose, of the Bala Murphy campaign. So that's basically how we found ourselves here today. On behalf of the families, I would like to thank everyone for coming to the unveiling of the plaque to co commemorate our loved ones. I would also like to thank everyone involved with the upkeep of the beautiful memorial garden. The plaque will tell the story of how 47 years ago this week the British Army inflicted a horrendous and brutal attack on this community. The other fact was that our families were thrown into years of grief and devastation through lack of proper investigation and this was compounded by a farcical inquest. On that night three teenagers, my 13 year old sister Margaret, 15 year old David McCafferty, 16 year old John Dougal and their, had their futures taken from them violently. And for our families, whenever it would come to birthdays, Christmas, or special family occasions, the grief would be magnified. <coughs> Polly Butler was a hard-working father of six. Youngest of his children was not even two. His late wife, Margaret, fought all her life to raise her children. And then you have to think how hard it was to grow up without their father to turn to. That night, far in the Patty followed the teachings of Christ going to the aid of his parishioners in their hour of need. The Catholic Church and the world in general is a poor place for the loss of a dedicated priest. These horrendous events, along with Bloody Sunday and new laws, could have been prevented. There had been a proper investigation into what happened in Mother Murphy the previous August. And the MOP and British government brought their murder soldiers under control. We have followed the Mother Murphy inquest thanks to the brilliant work of Kieran Cahill and are so proud of the families and the witnesses for their dignity and bravery through all the proceedings. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same of the MOD and the soldiers. Their mass amnesia. We hope to hear in the not too distant future about the inquest for our loved ones. Even though we have seen from the bottom of the inquest, it will be quite traumatic. <coughs> At least don't think the original inquest soldiers will have to be able to be challenged. I'd like to finish by thanking everyone on the relaunch of our campaign. This is no slight to people who have been involved before. It's just that the momentum is with us now. Truth will not be denied. Uh, I'm delighted to be here today as a MP for West Belfast to show my solidarity with the Spring Hill West Rock Massacre families. I mean, they've been in for many, many years, and you know, what they're doing now is relaunching that campaign to take forward to look for inquests for their loved ones. Their loved ones were murdered many years ago. They're back on the streets. It's great to see so many people attend this event today and to stand um, shoulder to shoulder with all the families. I mean, if you look at the, the wide range of age groups here today, the people not so young, but also many young people here today, this campaign's not going away anywhere. These people here will ensure that they get justice for their loved ones. It doesn't matter how long it takes, they want it obviously sooner rather than later, but they will continue to be on the streets and they will continue to press the British government and others to make sure that the inquests are held for their loved ones who were murdered here many, many years ago. And I am delighted again to show my solidarity with all these families and we will continue to do that in the future.